Man needs very little introduction. He's my good friend, George Strombolopoulos. Hi. How are you? Long time no see. Yeah. Too long. It has been a long time. Thanks for having me here. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. You are in town to do? The uh, Canucks Autism Network Reveal Gala tonight at Rogers Arena, and I'm very excited to be here. I, I was part of the uh, Vancouver Canucks Telethon in the, I guess, late winter, spring last year, where part of the money raised goes to Canuck Place, and, and another part of it as well goes to the Autism Network, and I was really impressed and just inspired with the work and the people who are putting it together and, and, the, and, and the way the kids and the families connect with these networks and I thought man whatever you need I'll be um, it's my duty as a human to be a part of this but I really want to as well right mm -hmm. it is an incredible initiative they do, do such great works for so many that just need a place you do it to, in the spring I do in the spring at yeah. Jackpool Plaza I love it and it's so inclusive and lovely but the big reveal is something we can't tell you it's sold out so hashtag reveal gala we'll go there again but Okay, so you work your butt off. Especially, congratulations on year one, Hockey Night Thank Canada, doing you. it. Love it. It was fun. Love you boys on it that panel. It is an oh. absolutely interesting job to try to go after Ron McLean and take over Hockey Night Canada. It is a, it is an interesting job, but so much fun. You, uh, you had big shoes to fill. Ron yeah. doing Rogers Hometown Hockey, of course, yeah. telling great stories across the country. That's going to be happening 24 cities. Mm -hmm. That's great. You go back to back to back a lot. You work a lot, but when in the off season, you can on your bike and it disappeared yeah. yeah it's one of those things where the moment the Stanley Cup is hoisted I'm done in my head it's like we've had a great run I love this game more than anything but it's like uh, and I, I still watch the game like a fan I host the game like a broadcaster and a fan but I know that when the handshake line happens it's over and then now I'm ready for the next year and there's still free agent day and draft and awards but that stuff you know I mean it's like whatever in my mind that's uh, that's fine but the cup is everything to me yes so when it's done I think all right I can hear the sound of my motorcycle revving somewhere and away I go well, let's show the motorcycle Cause yeah you, sure you had it, you get you literally hit the road yep and lightning strikes yep that's like, true, actually. <laughs> you've got some stories. We pulled some stuff off Twitter. So tell us about this. So the, my friend Will Allen and I, we uh, we have this, we don't really have a route plan. The idea is we get from Toronto to Los Angeles. We had to get to Vegas for the NHL Awards. Right. So there's no planned route. It really is just about, I'd like to go visit the grave where Dennis Hopper's buried. You know, things like that. Where, you know, where's, where's, where are these great musicians and, and, and artists, where are they from? But the idea is we just try not to get smoked by weather because I have been destroyed by hail and tornado storms in, in, in my motorcycle life and I'm too old for that now <laughs> so I, I ride and I ride and I ride we ride about 16 hours a day so we go hard wow. right sometimes more and what we do is we see weather up ahead and we just turn left and we try to avoid it so we avoid we avoid so on that particular shot I think we were in Kansas which kicked my ass this year Kansas was so difficult this year uh, it has been easy in the past but not this year I looked ahead and saw the clouds so I just looked at my friend and we just went like signaled and I just actually I didn't even signal I just bombed Exit left, stage left right onto this dirt road mm. and so we rode this dirt road for I mean it felt like a hundred miles in between farmers fields both of our bikes almost crashed and the lightning was firing around us like brain synapses going off so we pulled the bike over and just waited to snap that shot of the lightning it was unbelievable but the, you that, got it oh I got I get goosebumps talking about I got hit by hail my friend got hit by hail in an uncomfortable spot mm. almost fell off the bike it was really quite comical I love it <laughs> and then you stop log cabin here yep. little pizza joint there we can flip through a couple other photos because we just pulled them down oh that's the ghost it. ray so Georgia O'Keefe would do a lot of her paintings around there um, so I would just, again, I was just riding. This is about 30 minutes before we blew out our back tires because there, it was so hot down there um, and we decided to just, every time there's a cool dirt road that you think is interesting, just go for a ride. Just go for a ride and then just stopped out there. It was probably 40 degrees Celsius out there and I was just battered from the road. But that's what I yeah. like about it. It's attrition, right? Your buddy uh, Kipper, you took this for him? Yeah, I saw, saw that thing and I just thought I'd send that to Nick. It's also a very tired person sitting there. It's the best way to purge your seat. I'm lucky enough to be in a position where if I don't have I don't have a family, so I don't. I, I don't have like to go do real life stuff. When, when but you're the busiest over. man in Canada. Come no, on, no, 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 come no, on! No, you no, got no, a no. band. You got Darcy going yeah. right now, recording in LA. But then you got to think about and study up for a very busy NHL season. Last sure year do. we had you do the prediction. You said Chicago Blackhawks. I did. You did. I did. And this season, what do you see happening? Mostly for our Canucks, we're a little bit worried. I know everybody says the Canucks are going to be bad, but I don't know. I don't know. Everybody said Tougher. that about them and the Flames last year, right? right? So I, I don't know that the Canucks. I've learned that. Almost all predictions are wrong. I did pick Chicago Tampa, that's for sure. Yeah. But I didn't, uh, I didn't actually know that was going to happen. It was mostly a guess. I'm saying you did. You're a genius, <laughs> but I did. George. No, I, did. I don't know. Who do you think is going to be there this year? Um, 
I, I really want it to be a Canadian team. Yeah. I, I like the look of your Habs. I hope so. I like the look of your Habs. And uh, Karma, Karma, away. PK, hello. How good is he? How good is he? PK is part of the NHL that I want to grow, which is, you know, this idea that players have to have no personality and mm. it's all just straight team mentality off the ice and on the ice. I get why that was important at a certain point, but the generation, the culture is not there anymore. People want personality and, you know, personality is good. Go and express yourself. You should be a team on the ice. I get that 100%. And even with a lot of the initiatives you do off the ice, it's important to be connected. But if we love this game, we want people to buy this game and sell this game. So. And when in doubt, donate millions of dollars to a hospital in the name of your hero and yeah. John Beliveau. If you're going to be rich, be Shut good up. with your rich. Right? right? Don't be a jackass with your rich. Be yeah. good with your rich. And Pinky is good. Plus, he's so funny. Did you see the Don Cherry thing he did? I did. Oh, like, honestly. We're going to see those in promos, right? Yeah, that okay. that was all off the. That was like between takes, yeah. where I lost it because he was it was just his best on cherry impression I've ever seen. You know, I love what PK brings to the game. You know, you got Brandon Prust here in Vancouver. Yes. He's an excellent guy, yeah. really good in the community and that kind of stuff. Like I want to see people like that who bring a real kind of a youthful passion, even though I don't think he's 22 anymore. But you know, as a Habs fan, are you sorry the Prust is wearing Canucks colors? Yeah, of course, because... You can root a little bit for the Canucks, No, no, then. I can't. Like, <laughs> like, I, I try. I, I can't. I, ha, I, I get... The hardest thing I had to do last year in Hockey Night Canada was the night the Habs got eliminated. I had to go on the air. And you had your blue Blanco oh, Rouge on in, in a subtle heart. way. Oh. But remember when I was working for Leafs TV and you were all about the Habs and I was all about the Canucks yep. and we were sitting there talking about the Leafs? That's right. This is what we do. We love the game, but you got to love your team. you got to stick with your team. I respect you gotta that. you got to be professional. you got to be a broadcaster. you got to do your job. You but at the end of the day, if you're not a fan, why bother right. doing it? You're a huge fan, and you've been yeah. talking hockey way longer than most people know. I love it. I respect it. I Thank enjoy you. your opinion and your perspective. Thank you for that. Tonight's the night at Rogers Arena that you will be at the Reveal Gala. You take the stage at 645. That's right. The hashtag is hashtag Reveal Gala. Follow along even if, even if you can't be there. There's a lot of really cool stuff happening. Some nice surprises there. Um, and if you Charmaine don't know, Crooks with you, right? Charmaine Crooks. Yes. And if you don't know much about the Aut Connects Autism Network, uh, look it up because the work they do and the rest of it they provide families and the networks and the all the activities which are so impactful. Totally. The amount of people living in this world with autism, it's it's an enormous number of people. Adults. But adults. We should be we should be we should be aware of that and working on behalf of them, even if I don't have any like I don't have any children that are on the spectrum, but it doesn't matter. It's my job to, to be there for everybody, just like it's yours and theirs. Mm -hmm. So it, it, there's a lot of people living with autism, and I think it's important that we look at the kind of work that you know the Autism Network's doing. And every other NHL franchise should look at what happens in Vancouver, because they do a really solid job here. Come back often. Oh. Say so hi to lights for me. I will. Lights is up next, yes.